You want to make a donut, huh? Well then, fuck off. This tutorial's not for you. See, this is something way cooler. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about this really, 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 really cool add-on called a uh, Dream UV. Bye. Fuck, who's this by again? Okay, after doing some research, it's by Luke Bars at Valve. This was actually used in Source 2 for Half-Life Alex for something called Hotspot Texturing. And it is the coolest shit that I've ever seen in my life, and I'll show you why. Let's get some of this glass spray in the mouth. Oh shit, I- <laughs> Oh no, my microphone! Okay, first, we're gonna delete the default- de Delete the default cube. I don't even want to make a default cube joke anymore. And we're gonna make something by adding, guessed it, a cube. Actually, no. Let's do all this modeling hooga booga. Oh my god, that dog. Is that the same dog? That same dog's on our yard again. Oh, he's just walked past. I don't know where else to go with this, so that's enough. Much better. Okay. Um. What's next? Oh, the add-on. <laughs> okay, so the add-on itself is activated by going to your edit mode scrolling down until you find uh, the, the dream UV there it is I know oh my fucking god okay so um I forgot an important thing the way this add-on works at least the way the hotspot tool works is you need an atlas object which is a plane that's subdivided I'm sorry not subdivided but loop cutted <laughs> loop cutted <laughs> loop cutted to your Hotspot texture or your atlas texture. I can just find the fucking plane because I don't want to. Now, we're going to turn on. Viewport shading. Oh no. It froze. Oh, there it goes. And it's gone! <laughs> okay, so after that painful search, we are back at it. The texture here is the... What the fuck is wrong with my brain? The texture here is the example texture that was provided by Luke Lars or Bram. It's an example atlas. And you can see all these little fancy cuts here. Your plane has to have loop cuts that has to have loop cuts that match the texture. You move it around and look at the texture goes with that. Go back to our layout. I'm going to go here. Let's just do a shade smooth. Just make it look good. Here. Edit mode. Base mode. Put on the Dream UV, select all, hotspot. Oh my god, hotspot. Oh, <coughs> didn't even set the material. Hotspot. <gasps> and look at that. It's horrible. And there's a reason for that. It needs, or well, a shape like this anyways, needs to have a scene. 
And that's not even a fucking scene. Now watch this. Oh, I know what I did wrong. They have to apply scale. There we go. Wow. Look at that. You can also hotspot individual faces or faces that you select. Easy. Just find the faces you want. Click them. Hotspot. There you go. Handling. Oh my god. I think my cuts might be off. See, now I'm getting sidetracked by how fun this is. I actually used this add-on for a VR chat world of mine for a warehouse. Did a little quick test render of it, and it looked pretty good. You know what, let's do it on a more familiar structure. Let's model something again. This is like a dumpster? Okay, so what I'm gonna do here. I'm not even gonna <clears throat> I'm not even gonna mark seams or anything like that. I'm just gonna hot spawn it. Look at that. Beautiful. Hmm. Luke Bars? Ram? You are a a saint for making this free. Just look, I can just continue adding it to this. Advanced dumpster. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I'm kind of curious. This is no longer a tutorial, but this is just me pissing around. Might have given it too much. Yep, it froze. <laughs> Alright, so it threw me an error, presumably because of the rivets being like. Probably because of the rivets. It threw me an error, but it still worked. This is really cool. Dream UV really is a dream github is in the link you can download it from there it's free oh if you see this that means you were brave enough to sit through the whole thing and for that i give you this prize <laughs> 